Today we're gonna look at a Schwinn Manta Ray. So the Manta Ray was a 24 inch bike. And it's kind of a fastback style bike, but in the 24 inch version. Some of the similarities to the fastback, it had the same diameter wheels, the uh, the one and three eighths, that this was 24, one and three eighths, where the fastback is 20 by one and three eighths. Uh, this is a five speed stick shift. So this one here is a July of 72. They made these bikes in 71 and 72 only. The 72 model came with either a coaster brake on the single speed or a disc brake on the five speed. And this is a five speed, so it has the uh, disc brake mounted on the back. Um, so none of the 72s would have had a caliber um, mounted brake. You had a disc or the coaster brake on the 72. And we'll take a look, we're going to talk about a couple of flaws, a couple of things that are unique to the uh, Manta Ray besides being a 24 inch. And the first thing, one of the most notable things that people see is the, uh, the wide seat on the Manta Ray. So this has got the, the wide seat, kind of, they call it a bold style seat with the wider pan at the back. Um, that'd be one thing that would make this unique for the Manta Ray. Now the, five, now the single speed Manta Ray would have had a 50 tooth uh, sprocket where the 5 speed has the mag uh, 52 which was the same one that's used on the crate so this bike had a couple of um, parts that were used on the crates and that's why they're kind of hard to find still intact and complete a lot of people were buying them up and uh, taking these parts off and using them for uh, crates or to, or to make crates uh, the sprocket would be one uh, the stick shift would be another uh, the disc brake would be another part that was interchangeable with the uh, with 72, 73 uh, crates. So this bike here, now on the fastback and the uh, Manta Ray, so it, it had what you call these uh, curved seat stays on it. And so you see it's got the camelback, the slight hump in the frame, and it has the curved seat stays where they made the Camelback also with the uh, Speedster, but it would have had a straight seat stay. So that's something you want to look at if you're looking at a frame and, and someone's advertising it as a Manta Ray and you're not sure. The Manta Ray and the Fastback is going to have a curved seat stay, where the Speedster is going to have the straight seat stay. And we'll take a look at that. We're going to pull the Speedster out when we bring it outside and put them next to each other to see it a little easier. Okay, so talk about a couple of flaws on this bike. Um, First one you see right here is uh, the seat does have a little dry spot there, a little rough spot in the vinyl. Uh, that's the only bad spot on the seat, right there at the seat pan. Uh, it's got its typical uh, paint loss, you know, someone's always hitting the butter wrench right here. And it's got a little chrome loss here and there, but I mean overall the chrome looks really good on this bike. Now this, this curved uh, seat stay right here on the drive side. It's got a uh, ding dent, uh, it's got a little ding in it right there. Um, you can't really see it straight on, you have to look pretty close. Um, it doesn't have any mechanical effects on the bike. <clears throat> I just wanted to point that out, it does have a little ding on the, on the drive side seat, seat stay. Alright, so we'll take a look at this front wheel. This is uh, the S5 uh, front wheel. You know, the S5s, so they had S5 and S6s which were the same size, but the, but the S5 has, has the ridge in the, uh, in the wheel, which, which gives it a, you know, a nice little look. It just looks a little more fancy than the S6, which would they put the S6 on the uh, Speedster. So it's got a good working wheel here. We'll get over here on the brake here on this side. So the, so the front did have a caliper brake. Everything's working good here. And, uh, no issues. It's got an original USA uh, tire, some sort of Schwinn touring tire on the front of this bike, on this front wheel. Now this back wheel has a has a nice uh, nice slick on it. So you know this was a this was a 24 inch Schwinn USA. They called it the fast pack slick. Uh, it's a pretty nice tire on that, and the, the back wheel is also the same size S5. It's got the five speed. Um, stick shifter and then with the disc brake. So I think we're going to go ahead and shift it. Uh, I'm going to go through, shift it up down through the gears and then we'll, uh, we'll hit the brakes a couple times for the disc brake working 
on uh, the spike, and then we'll bring it outside, we'll do the same thing. All right, so I think I'm gonna get on this side right here, so we can see a little better. And right now we are in uh, gear one, which should be the highest chain, which it is. Okay, so everything looks right. All right, let's go. All right, so there we are in uh, two, three, four, five. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the brake. this break. Now I'll get it going again and we'll go back to the largest chain set. Largest chain set. Alright. That should be two. Three. Four. So that should be two and then here's one. Hit the brake again. And there you go. Working disc brake, five speed stick shift. Um, it's got the uh, reflector pedals. You see it's got the nice green color reflector on the back. We've got the uh, beach sweat approved streamer, brake rubber covers, nice grips. Um, we covered the, is the issues on the bike. It's the only issues really to talk about. And uh, it's got the chain guard here, which you know that's a special fitted chain guard to go with the 52 tooth mag uh, sprocket. And you know, one thing you'll notice is it, it doesn't have the chrome the chrome uh, trim on the manta ray where the uh, the fast pack did. All right. Well, good luck on your bidding. Email any questions you got and. Uh, we're going to take it outside, we're going to put it up next to a, a fast pack so we can see the size difference and then we're going to put it up next to a uh, speedster to just clear up a little bit what we're talking about on the, the different frame styles from the uh, fast pack manta ray to the speedster. Thank you. Alright so we got them out and I brought out a uh, Stingray fast pack 20 inch so we could, we could put them side by side and look at a little bit of the difference. You know, right off the bat, you can see the tire. So we got 24 inch tire versus a 20 inch uh, wheel, and uh, you can see that this that the Manta Ray is just a, a much, you know, just a much bigger bike. Uh, it's got the wide seat here versus the the slim seat on the Fastback. But you can also see the similarities. These bikes were built. This is kind of like a scaled up version. They both have the S5, which has the nice ridge on the wheel. They're both five speed. They both had the 52 mag, 52 tooth uh, mag sprocket, uh, the five speed stick shift, uh, you know, the 24, the, the one and three eighths width tire, one's 24, one's 20 inch. Now, what we were talking about earlier with the Manta Ray and the Fastback is the curved uh, seat stay. You see how the, it's got the camel back and then it's got the curved seat stay. Now this is gonna be unique to the Manta Ray and the Fastback. And we brought down a Speedster here. So the Speedster's got the same curve. It's got the Camelback, but on the Speedster, it's got a straight bar, straight seat stay. So when you're looking for a Manta Ray, sometimes these, these, uh, these Camelback Speedsters are faked as a Manta Ray, or even they made a 20 inch Speedster that I've seen is faked as a, uh, Fastback. So this is what you want to look for. This has got to be curved for it to be a true Manta Ray or Fastback frame. Like you see in this one here and the Manta Ray's got the curve versus the straight seat stay. Alright, so I'm going to get on the bike. I'm going to try to keep it close like we've done before. I'm going to shift through all the gears. I'm going to go, uh, let's see, I'm going to go all the way up and come back down on them. And then, uh, just so this bike's operating, working. Uh, should make a fine addition with the disc brake. Makes it a one year bike. These bikes are made two years, 71, 72, but only one year did it have a disc brake option. That's 72. All right, so right now we're in the low gear, which is the uh, biggest chain ring. 
So we'll get going. We'll work our way down to the smallest, which is going to be the high gear. And then we'll, uh, we'll come back up to the uh, big gear. All right, here we go. Shift it. There we go. Shift it again. Alright. That should be in the middle, number three. Here we go, number two. And then this one right here should put us in the smallest one. We'll take a look at that real quick. Right where we want to be, smallest chain ring. The uh, we've worked our way all the way up to the high, the highest number five. All right, let's see if we go back down now. one all right we're back up to the largest chain ring and uh, this brake is uh this brakes working as we showed inside and front brakes working everything good work in order it's gonna make a nice addition to somebody's collection Good luck on your bidding. Thank you.